So, now that you understand the power of the zone, let's talk about how to realistically go about applying and triggering the zone productively in your day-to-day -day life. I was going to talk mostly about zone triggers in this video, but after reading all the amazing comments you guys left in the last video, it seems like most of you already know about this trick. So, if you've already figured this out, I've also thrown in some extra mental tricks that you can do that might help you further. But if you're new to this and you're worried about the fact that you can't really stay in the zone for very long, then don't worry. Like every anime ever has portrayed, it takes a lot of practice and training before you can maintain your Bankai for extended periods of time. But there are lots of small things that you can do to make the zone easier to enter immediately. And in my experience, the most important one is letting the people you hang out with know when you're about to enter the zone. You don't necessarily have to explain to them that you're practicing to unlock your Bankai, but just let them know ahead of time that, hey, for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to be hardcore studying and working on this project, so if I don't respond, just know I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done. You could also just have a voicemail or something on your phone that says, sorry, I'm currently in the zone, we'll return your call as soon as I'm out. I know that sounds dumb, but really, the best way to do this is to try and make sure that the zone is on a schedule. Like we said in the last two videos, find that one hour a day that you want to dedicate to building your dream. If that hour is 9 p.m., then just make sure that all your friends know from 9 to 10 you won't be taking any calls and you would be surprised how much easier it is to stay in the zone when you've prepped your community to be aware when you are in it. Another good trick is to create a comfortable zone trigger. A zone trigger is whatever it is you like to do to prepare to get into the zone. My personal trigger is a cup of coffee. When I know I'm planning to enter the zone, I usually go to Starbucks, I grab a coffee, and when I get back, I make sure my computer is ready all the software I need is open ahead of time and as soon as I take that first sip that is when I've entered the zone and all of my friends and family know if you see coffee in my cup I am still in the zone do not bother me so find your trigger and have it ready five minutes before you plan to go in also if you have trouble staying in the zone for prolonged periods of time I recommend you practice zone bursting this is a technique where you enter the zone for a short period of time like three minutes or ten minutes bursting is a really important technique if if you just don't have an hour to chunk out of your day, sometimes all you're gonna have is 10 minutes before you go to work, 15 minutes right after you come home, you know, 30 minutes while you're waiting for your girlfriend to get dressed and put on makeup. Sometimes those little chunks of time are all that you're gonna have. So if you can enter a zone burst for just those seven minutes, you can get a lot of work done in that. And the trick that I like to use when entering a zone burst is the same one that most of you seem to have already found, and that is, Music. If you're new to the zone, find a three minute song that gets you pumped or gets you in the mood and time your trigger with the music and just focus on work until the song is over. If you're new to this, I recommend a, you know, two minute, three minute, five minute song. I think you'll be surprised just how fast time flies because when you're in the zone, you got your coffee and your song is in the back playing, before you know it, that song is over and you were in the zone for a straight five minutes killing it. So obviously you wanna practice making the zone longer and and longer so I really just recommend making a playlist of songs that make you feel unstoppable badass hardcore in the mood whatever feelings you need to focus on kicking ass add those songs to your playlist you know my playlist in the beginning was like 10 minutes long and now I have a playlist that's about 30 minutes long but the trick is to make the playlist last as long as you would like to stay in the zone now up to this point we've talked about zone bursting based on a timer but you can also zone burst based on objectives this is how I usually operate in my day to day. I'll have a list of things that need to be done in the day and once I sit down I'll look at the first thing on that list and just tell myself okay I'm not gonna do anything else until that thing is done. I'm not gonna eat, I'm not gonna text, I'm not gonna do anything until I finish making this stupid thumbnail and after the thumbnail is done I'll check my email or drink water or you know responsible things now I only recommend entering the zone this way when the thing you're trying to accomplish can be done in less than an hour because after that it starts to become really unhealthy and draining you start neglecting things you really should be doing if you find yourself entering the zone this way but the task you're working on is not coming together it usually means your task was unrealistically big to begin with and it needs to be scaled down for example, if your zone objective was, I'm going to create the 
the environment for my game, but after one hour, you're really nowhere near being done with the environment, that means your objective was too big. Of course, you're not gonna finish the environment in an hour, because even the best professionals would struggle to do that. So you need to change your goal from, I'm gonna finish the environment, to, I'm just gonna finish placing all the trees. Not the mountains, not the sky, not the lighting, not the water, just the trees. You have to be realistic with your objectives. Set yourself up for small success, not big failures. Mentally, it feels much better when people ask you, what did you do today? And you say something like, I finished putting all the trees in my environment, and tomorrow I'm gonna put all the water. That sounds much better and feels much better than when you say something like, well, I'm still working on the environment, it's not really done yet, and you know, I still gotta put in all the water, right? Don't focus on what you didn't do, turn what you did do into the objective, because remember, the zone is a mental thing. It's based on momentum. And the more positive momentum you have, the better you'll be at kicking ass. So to sum up, let people know when you're heading into the zone, figure out what some good triggers for you are, have a playlist of your favorite music that gets you hyped and in the mood, and make sure your objective is reasonable and achievable within the amount of time you think you can maintain the zone. So, I hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. Thank you